when we're first introduced to Chris Pratt's character, Owen, and he is training the Velociraptors, and he's like, eyes on me. That's where, if I was watching this at home, I would have just turned it off. <laughs> I am Don. I'm Jester. Welcome to our Jurassic Park review. Jurassic World. Jurassic World. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was awful. <laughs> I thought it was pretty hokey, but I was entertained. My expectations were low. Like, I thought it was going to be dumb fun, but I just thought it was dumb and boring. It kind of, there were parts that angered me. Really? I didn't, I didn't like it at all. Uh-oh. I didn't like it at all. I thought it was awful. But then when, at the end, when the movie was over and the credits rolled, people in the theater were They applauding. were clapping. Yeah. I believe a lot of people really enjoyed it. Yeah. Although I, I think I heard somebody say they slept through it. It was a worthy entry in the Jurassic Park series in that it wasn't as good as the first movie, but it was just as bad as the sequels. I mean, everybody loves the first Jurassic Park. Everybody hates the sequels. Okay. I don't think this one wasn't as bad as Jurassic Park 3, but it wasn't as fun as Lost World. This one, I didn't, I don't remember any character's name. I didn't care about anybody. I found every character, in fact, just to be completely and thoroughly detestable. Wow. I didn't hate the kids. I, and I, I don't like kids. I forgot the kids were even in there. Did you hate Star-Lord? Yeah. Yeah. I, I really hated him. Everything he said was hokey. I don't was... know how else to say it. it. It just... Everything he said was nonsense to me. He was... It was like they combined the Dr. Grant character and the Ian Malcolm character. Mm -hmm. Like, they took the guy who was smart and knew what he was doing but combine it with the guy who made jokes and was also the pessimist. And it didn't, that needed to be two different characters. I was, I was a little bit confused. Uh, how did he know anything about dinosaurs? They got him from the Navy, right? right? Yeah, I was confused so by that So how does as well. he know anything about dinosaurs? I thought that they were going to explain he was some, you know, hunter or, or some safari too. guy, but yeah. then... They talked about how they got him from the Navy. I don't know. So, uh, his character made no sense to me at all. So, base the plot... <laughs> I don't want to say the plot in the movie, but a main driving force of the story was that the military wants to weaponize dinosaurs. Yes. That's what this movie's about. Made absolutely no sense. There are... Currently in the world, predatory animals. Yes. Lions, tigers, jackals. Yeah. Men, most of which have been somewhat trained in using like circuses and things like that. Never in any military in the history of the world. So I just, I couldn't buy the concept of using dinosaurs as weapons. It didn't make any sense. But I did really enjoy the performance by Vince D'Onofrio. Is that the guy that wanted the raptors to fight? Yeah. I was waiting for him to die. He died. He had a pretty good death. <laughs> he knew he was in a bad movie and he yeah, knew he, his character was stupid so he just he was having fun. He, Yeah. I thought he had a lot of fun and I couldn't wait for him to die. There was this scene where the pterodactyls were attacking the the crowd which yeah. was a really good that was a really good scene that was a really exciting and well done vincent d'onofrio he runs up to the roof and he's just watching it and he starts to smile yeah. every time something <laughs> horrible happens he's like laughing mm -hmm. i thought he was great and then his death was pretty good because it was at the end when he was starting to make you know the the cliched evil person speech and in the middle of his speech just a dinosaur came out and ate him spoiler <laughs> the, the two leads of the movie were just the two biggest duds. I thought she was probably... I didn't really enjoy them. But uh, there were enough dinosaurs to make up for it for me. 
I don't know. I see. I wasn't even into the dinosaurs. I thought the CG wasn't that good. Like I didn't. I thought they looked better in the first Jurassic Park. Well, they did. CG is always worse. Is it? I think so. I. You can tell it's fake. You could definitely tell these were fake. There was no love put into the the design of the animals or the animation of the animals. The reason that the first Jurassic Park movie was such a hit wasn't because of the CG dinosaurs. It was because of this, the way Spielberg told the story. It had such grandeur and drama that this movie and all the sequels just lacked. Like the when we are first introduced to the dinosaurs in the first Jurassic Park movie, you know, they they drive in the jeeps and they see from the distance the the brontosaurus and it's filmed from below and it's super dramatic and it's beautiful and the music starts to swell and then john hammond comes out and he goes welcome to jurassic park and then they show like just this vista of all these animals and the music is like right and it's just like, just thinking about that scene, it just it gives you chills because it's so well done and beautiful and iconic. This movie, they arrive at the island and there's this, uh, it's like a resort. And they're just literally like checking into their room and going up to their room. And the music is, da, 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 da. it's like, no, that's not dramatic. There's, and then the dinosaurs in this movie are treated as a joke. Like, there's the dinosaur petting zoo. There's the little kids riding little dinosaurs. I thought that was adorable. So I thought that was just... I want to ride a little dinosaur. Right. Baby dinosaur! <laughs> no, see, that did, that cheapened the dinosaurs for me. You can't have a dinosaur <laughs> petting zoo. This is Jurassic Park. This is Jurassic World. Is that better or worse? Worse. The, I think the very end with the whatever dinosaur it was, I don't spoiler know. Spoiler warning. I'm I'm going to try to not spoil it. The absolute very end when the Indominus Rex was finally defeated. Is that what it's called? Yeah. That was great. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. That's all I'll say about it. Is that what you're going to say? Yeah. That was really clever. I was going to say it reminded me of uh, Godzilla, though. Sure. The whole movie reminded me of Godzilla. <laughs> this was a better Godzilla movie than Godzilla, but it didn't feel like a Jurassic Park movie to me. It felt like a generic sci-fi channel level monster movie. Sometimes those are enjoyable. They're absolutely enjoyable, but I don't know. This one, the main, the Indominus Rex, they kept talking about how it was an artificially engineered dinosaur because... 20 years ago, you could have just normal dinosaurs and people liked it because it was new. Like, I don't need meta humor in my Jurassic Park films. And then I had the guy wearing the Jurassic Park shirt. Yeah. He's like, it's vintage. I got it on eBay or something like For that. For $150. Yeah. This is $10 at Target, by the way. Uh, the two the two in the control room, the guy wearing the Jurassic Park shirt and the, the girl mm -hmm. that I can't figure out how I know her. She looked very familiar. Uh, they were possibly my favorite part until the end, and he made a move on her. Mm -hmm. And that wrecked the whole thing for me. Sure. It was supposed to be funny, and people funny. laughed, but it didn't fit. And I found that with most of the humor in the movie is that it just felt misplaced to me no absolutely there were a couple times i laughed but i don't think i was supposed to laugh i laughed a lot when i wasn't supposed to laugh <laughs> the first jurassic park movie is dumb as well like the story makes no sense spielberg movies as a whole are full of plot holes and logic problems but he's such a great storyteller you don't notice it when you're watching the film. Like you notice it on the second, third viewing. Whereas this is the kind of movie where it's like, no, that just doesn't make any sense. That's fair. I'm still going to say that I was entertained, though. We so, might have to end this because it's, it's really too hot. hot in here. <laughs> so do you recommend this movie? Yeah, go see it. I, th oh, I thought, oh, 
if you have seen the other three Jurassic Park movies, go see this. Just go do it. I would say if you've seen the other three Jurassic Park movies, watch the first one again. <laughs> and go see Mad Max. Welcome to Jurassic Park.